Okay, welcome back. This is the remastered of um, Noto, the art of putting the sword back in the Saya. And um, I'm redoing this video because that video is a long time ago. And I've definitely changed on how I do the move. So to start off, you want your sword in a belt um, as um, all samurai had their swords in a belt rarely ever holding their sword plus the benefit of having a your saya in your obi or a belt shoot shoot okay i'll put it in there <laughs> is people tend to bring the saya here and do it especially in the reverse grip they tend to bring the saya to the middle of their body which is um kind of unrealistic. So, have your katana in your obi or a regular belt if preferred. First off, you want to grab your um, sword like this, getting the sagi out of the way. You want your thumb to push onto the tsuka or the, sorry, you want your thumb to push the tsuba to open the sword. This motion will um, make it a smoother opening than having to fight the habaki in the opening. It's a very subtle difference, but it's, um, it is there and it is extremely beneficial. Okay, moving on. So the opening, you wanna get into Chodan, of course feet facing the enemy, both of them standing up really straight. Hand on the tsuka, the handle, like this. A lot of people think it's weird that us samurai have our blade facing up because they normally grab the blade like this. And when you draw like this, the blade is facing the wrong direction. However, It is a simple bend of the wrist, like this, and suddenly the sword comes out straight and facing the right direction. Okay, moving on. So again, we want to push the sword out first, so you're able to hit with this opponent, hit with the kashira, hit, and the sword comes back for the draw. So, um, I'll do that again, but slower. You want to hit, or if your opponent is already at distance, you want to still bring this out. Your hand goes on the saya, and don't take the sword out of the saya. Take the saya off of the sword. So again, push the sword out. Now take the saya off of the sword, and pull out. <laughs> And pull out. Again, starting from standing, push the sword out, hand, release. Now turn your hips like this and pull the side back at the same time. And that clears the sword from the side. So, the reason why I tell you to pull the saya off of the sword is because pulling the sword out of the saya, you can see when I do this, the top of the blade will cut open my saya. But if I pull it off, notice how there's a gap here now and I will not cut off or cut open my saya. We'll review it right now. So. Standing upright position, sword in your obi. Generally, you want, or I like, the kashia to be in line with my body because it makes for really fast grabbing and going. If it's like this, I have to bring it to in front of me first to get my other hand here. So I like it like this. Kashira in the middle of my body or more this way, more to the right if I really wanted to. Standing, 
quickly grab. Go out, not too much out. This is silly. <laughs> you don't need that much out. Just a little bit. Release the sword, turn my hips, and the sword comes out. Now I'm ready for action. Show you again. Spin it straight. Kashida in line with my body or more to the right if you want. Grab, step back just a tiny bit to get into that battle stance. You know? Push out, release the katana, and turn your hips and pull back. And the sword is drawn. But now we will practice returning the sword. Smooth, elegant, okay. So first off, um, get the blood off of your sword. Battle, want the blood off of it. There's um, three ways, that, but one way I don't recommend. Um, the first way, simple fling. The second way is the one I don't recommend. And that is rubbing or wiping the blade off into your arm because now there's blood all over your sleeve and that's not really fun. The next way is hitting your sword to shake or to get the blood off. Hit, usually you'd spin, and then you'd return. Please tell me if I did that wrong. <laughs> so, the first motion you want to practice, my sword is falling apart. Okay, is catching the sword. So, the opening of your saya is called the koi guchi, or carp's mouth. You want to cover that and make a new hole with your hand. It's just a pinching of these two fingers. The kogochi, koi guchi, in the middle of your palm. Wrap your fingers around it and pinch your index and thumb. The next step is extending your thumb, well, just a little bit, enough to catch the blade of the sword by the mune, or the back of the blade. Do this over and over again until it becomes second nature. Just practice catching and bringing straight. Can you get at that? Reverse grip. until it becomes second nature. All right, so after you've mastered the grabbing of the sword, two things you gotta watch out for. One, don't practice with a real sword, like this one. You could turn your blade like this and run that blade, the sharp side, all the way across your hand and you um, get to have a bad day. Another thing, make sure when you, the blade comes up, make sure the blade is facing the sky. The sharp side is facing the sky. I cut myself, actually, not, um, not doing that, being careless. When I did, um, when I grabbed the sword, the blade was sideways like this, and I cut skin off of this part of my hand. So yeah, make sure the blade is turned up. Now, you might be wondering, how do I know when I can draw and put the sword back in? When can I slide the sword? Well, let me tell you. When you grab the sword, you're going to run it, feel, feel the sword. You'll feel the tip of the sword, the very tip of the sword, fall onto your index finger. Go, 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 boom. It fell onto my index finger and I'm ready to return the sword. Now, when you get really good at this, you'll feel it instant and the sword. Knowing where that tip is, is the key. So that's it. Grab. Now feel the sword, feel the tip of the sword fall onto your index finger.
you'll feel it there. Now I know I'm ready to slide my sword back in. It looks, <laughs> it looks easy. It's actually extremely difficult. <laughs> And that is how you return the sword. Again, I'll show you one more time. Standing upright. Sword is drawn. Blood is off the sword. Catch and return. So now I'll demonstrate to you my favorite way of doing it. I have my own style. I think this way is better, is the best for me because when I extend my hand, the tsuba tends to dig into my hand right here and it hurts. So I like to reverse grip the sword because um, it's a lot easier to bend your wrist like this than to bend it like this. So after I painstakingly and cleanly draw my sword, come up like this behind me and the sword and the blood is gone. Then and the sword comes back. Again, I'll show you it again. This is my favorite way of doing it. I'll demonstrate one more time because that's so fun. We're gonna bring it all back up. Another thing I should probably tell you. I cut my hand again, or, sorry, not again. I just want to let you know that, remind you that I cut my hand. Practice with one of these. This is called Boken or Boku. Boken or Bokuto in Japan. <laughs> it's, um, it's a thick sword, it's extremely light. So again, the same thing happens. Unlock the sword. Now draw. It's extremely light. Now, again, new Koi Gucci with your hand. And the motion is the same. However, it does feel a little weird because this is extremely thick. So. That is the remastered lesson on Lotto. And uh, have fun.